Lizzie Velasquez. I'm a motivational speaker and author, and I'm from Texas. I think if you can imagine if you saw yourself on a video like that, I think you would instantly know exactly how I felt. I felt like my world crumbled as soon as I saw it. I found it on accident, so it was something I definitely was not expecting and I cried my eyes out when I first found it and I was really, really upset. At the time when I found it, I thought I would never be able to pick myself back up from it, but over time I realized that finding this video was one of the best things that could have happened to me because I had to work really hard to show myself that I was in control and I had to decide if I was going to let this ruin my life or if I was going to let it somehow helped my life and luckily I chose to work really hard and in the process I've not only been able to overcome it personally but I can now help other people all over the world and show them that if you have any obstacle in your life that comes your way you can absolutely overcome it. It was definitely a process to overcome it. It wasn't something where I woke up one morning and felt better about the whole thing. It was a process for me to be able to learn to forgive the people, the person who posted it for one, and all the people who made all the comments on the video that weren't so nice. But over time, I realized that all of this stuff wasn't something that was going to change my life for the negative. So I continued to do motivational speaking. I continued to write. I continued to live my life the best way that I could. And that's how I let it, I guess, how I overcame it. I think I always feel like the proudest moments in my life is when I meet people who come up to me and tell me their stories of struggle and how I inspire them to change their life. And I can see it in their eyes and in their smile that I've really made a difference in their life. And it's people that I don't know personally, but it's something that makes me so proud every single day. There, I mean, at the end of the day, I am human and I do have times where things are difficult and things seem really negative, but I always have to stop and remind myself what my purpose is in life. And that is to be the light for other people and be the voice for those who might not be able to use theirs or not know how to use their voice. And in that moment, instead of feeling sad, I pick myself up by listening to a fun song or reading nice comments or emails that I get from people around the world. A Brave Heart is a documentary about my life. It's something that is definitely my story. I am who you see on the screen, but it's everyone's story. When you watch this film, I think you can absolutely relate to it. Whether it's something that I talk about or something that my family is talking about, you can see yourself or you can see a relative and know that this is something they've gone through and I can relate to that. I think one of my biggest pieces of advice for anyone who thinks negative about themselves is you have to remember that you're not alone. I think often we think that we're the only ones that feel bad about ourselves or feel insecure about ourselves, but in reality, every single one of us has had or has had those thoughts um, at some point in their life and you're not alone in, in any feelings that you have about yourself. Thank you so much. Yes.